Happy to turn a love scroll me theme where I'll explain you how you can configure a service section and have it as in our demo site and add to your horizon scroll menu. Well, as you can check in our demo site of scroll me, this is our service section, uh, sorry, service page, which we have it in our menu with a scroll effect. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. First, you need to make a pages for a service section. We, we can have up to four pages here. So if you want to add more pages, then you need to go for its up pro version, which we're going to release in some weeks. Now, first thing you need to log into your WordPress dashboard, and then you need to make four service pages. Well, I have already created three service pages, so I'm going to just show you how to create one. This is the first service page which we have created with the use of Page Builder plugin. Now you need to put a service title. Then you need to click on Page Builder and I'm just going to copy the layout what we have used here. So I'm going to add a row with two columns. I'm going to insert it in the first column I'm gonna add site origin image widget then in second one I'm gonna add text widget now let me configure the site origin image widget I'm gonna choose an image and then just make your necessary configuration then click on done now for the text I'm gonna edit it and put some content. Well, I have my dummy content here, which I'm going to be using. Now just click on done. Now that I have made my service page for first service, I'm going to publish it. Similarly, I have also made another three service pages, as you can see. Now we have to just select it in our customize. Now go to appearance and then click on customize. Then after this, you need to go to horizontal scroll page section. Sorry, before that you need to go to service settings. Then you can put a section title which will show here. This is the title then you're gonna select you have to select service pages I'm gonna select service 1 service 2 service 3 and uh, 4 now click on save and publish now that you have assigned particular pages for the service page you need to go to horizontal scroll page section where I'm gonna put the service in scroll section 2 you have to uh, put an ID which is a single word of your section which will be helpful in uh, adding menu then you have the option to select page layout or a predefined layout well, for service we have to, uh, we're gonna use predefined layout we have five predefined layouts so just select service and then click on save and publish now that you have done that, just go to appearance and then click on menus. We have created a menu with name menu 2 where we have added home custom link and about us custom link. So same thing we're going to do, we're going to add a custom link for the service 2. You can add uh, you can get some reference. You just need to add the URL of your site just let's copy it and paste it here where you will have here is your site URL and then you need to put this hash home because the scroll is gonna go by crossing the home section then after that you need to put here the tagline which you have used here 
as I have said you earlier. Now you need to just copy it and put it just after home like this. Now you need to put a link text which will show on the menu. And then click on add to menu. Now you can see your our service section is added to the menu. Make sure you check this primary menu and click on save. Now we have done that so let's go to our front end and see our page being scrolled horizontally. That's our main slider section where we have this about section and this is the service section that we have just configured. This is the page I showed you how to create that is with the image and text and everything and all. Well I forgot to tell you, you can also add a feature image in each page you create that is in each service page you create you can add a feature image as to have like this. So this is how your service page is created and is added on the menu which you can scroll with the effect. So I hope this video is helpful to you in configuring service section and if you have any confusion then you can always refer to our online documentation where we have explained it in detail too. Or you can write to me down below or you can write to our support team that is at support at accesspressthemes.com or you can post it in our support forum or talk to our online support uh, in our site anytime. Thank you very much. Take care.